I'm Annie Petito, Associate Editor at Cook's Illustrated, and today I'm going to walk you through our recipe for pavlova. Pavlova is a gorgeous dessert of marshmallowy, crisp shelled meringue piled with lightly whipped cream and fresh fruit. Without much effort, this dessert is a real showstopper. To start, adjust the oven rack to the middle position and heat the oven to 250 degrees. Using a pencil, draw a 10 inch circle in the center of an 18 by 13 piece of parchment paper. This will be your guide when shaping the meringue later on. Place one and a half cups of sugar and three quarters of a cup of egg whites in a bowl of a stand mixer and place the bowl over a saucepan filled with one inch of simmering water, making sure the water does not touch the bottom of the bowl. Because eggs can vary in size, measuring the egg whites by volume or weight is essential to ensuring that you are working with the correct ratio of egg whites to sugar. Whisking gently but constantly, heat until the sugar is dissolved and the mixture registers 160 to 165 degrees, five to eight minutes. Fit a stand mixer with a whisk attachment and whip the mixture on high speed until the meringue forms stiff peaks, is smooth and creamy, and is bright white with a sheen, about four minutes. Stop the mixer and scrape down the sides of the bowl with the spatula. Add one and a half teaspoons of distilled white vinegar, one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whip on high speed until combined, about 10 seconds. Spoon about a quarter teaspoon of the meringue onto each corner of the rimmed baking sheet. Press the parchment, marked side down, onto the sheet to secure. Pile the meringue in the center of the circle on the parchment. Using the circle as a guide, spread and smooth the meringue with the back of a spoon or spatula from the center outward, building a 10 inch disc that is slightly higher around the edges. The finished disc should measure about one inch high with a quarter inch depression in the center. Creating a rim around the edge of the meringue will help contain the toppings. Transfer to the oven and bake the meringue until the exterior is dry and crisp and the meringue releases cleanly from the parchment when lifted gently at the edge with a thin metal spatula, one to one and a half hours. If you give the meringue a bit of a tap, you'll be able to feel and hear how dry and crisp it is. Turn off the oven, prop the door open with a wooden spoon, and let the meringue cool in the oven for one and a half hours. Remove from the oven and let the meringue cool completely before topping, about 15 minutes. For the cranberries, bring one cup of sugar and one cup of water to a boil in a medium saucepan over medium heat, stirring to dissolve the sugar. Remove from the heat, stirring six ounces of frozen cranberries. No need to thaw these guys. Let the cranberries and syrup cool completely, about 30 minutes. Place the remaining half cup of sugar in a shallow dish. Drain the cranberries, discarding the syrup. If you don't want to discard the syrup, it's a nice addition to seltzer. Working in two batches, roll a half cup of the cranberries in the sugar and transfer to a large plate or tray. Let stand at room temperature to dry, about one hour. Cut away the peel and pith from five navel oranges. Cut each orange into quarters from pole to pole, then cut crosswise into quarter inch thick pieces. You should have three cups. Just before serving, toss the oranges with the non-sugared cranberries and a third of a cup of chopped fresh mint in a bowl until combined. Before serving, place two cups of chilled heavy cream and two tablespoons of sugar in a chilled bowl of a stand mixer and whip on low speed until small bubbles form, about 30 seconds. Increase the speed to medium and whip until the whisk leaves a trail, about 30 seconds. Increase the speed to high and continue to whip until the cream is smooth, thick, and nearly doubled in volume, about 20 seconds longer for soft peaks. Carefully peel the meringue away from the parchment and place on a large serving platter. Spoon the whipped cream into the center of the meringue. Using a slotted spoon, spoon the fruit in an even layer over the pavlova. Garnish with the sugared cranberries and mint leaves. Let stand for at least five minutes or up to one hour. This helps soften the meringue's crust just enough to make cutting a bit neater. Then slice and serve. I hope you enjoyed working along with me in this recipe. If you do make our recipe, please post a comment or a photo of your pavlova. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.